Look at your neighbor and say, it's Jesus. That's it. And that's all. All right. Quickly, let's go to Matthew, the 14th chapter. The 25th verse. And we're going to also go to a scripture that you know in Galatians, the 6th chapter, and the 9th verse. And the Bible reads in Matthew 14 and 25, it says, And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. They cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be you, bid me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning, beginning to see, sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, wherefore did you doubt? And when they were come into the ship, say, into the ship, the wind ceased. And then let's go to Galatians, the sixth chapter, and the ninth verse, and it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season. We shall reap if we faint not. Look at your neighbor and say, don't look back. It's almost your due date. Come on, look at your other neighbor and say, don't look back. It's almost your due date. The scripture tells us here about Peter and the other disciples that were in the boat. They saw Jesus as he began to walk on the water. Scripture says that they thought it was a spirit, so they opened their mouths and said, that must be a spirit, that definitely ain't Jesus. And Jesus said, well, uh, quiet, be a good chair, be happy, it's me. And Peter, he said, well, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to come. As we all know, Peter, Peter had a big mouth. Peter talked too much, you know what I mean? He talked a whole lot. And Peter said, well, do you know what, Jesus? I think he might have tried to get a little attitude. He said, you know what, Jesus? Tell me to come out there if it's really you. And they begin to walk on the ocean, they begin to walk on the sea where Jesus was, walk toward him in his direction. And he began to get scared. There's always the ones with all the mouth that when they get in trouble, they start to get scared. Anybody know that it's always the ones that done talked you down and done started running their mouth that when it's time to fight, they're going to run. And Peter had talked his way into getting on the ocean and started stepping, high stepping, because he knew that Jesus was going to save him. And the thing is, Jesus is always going to reach out and save us every time we get ourselves into a mess. And the scripture says here that he walked out. And when he had realized how far he had come, that's what happened. He realized just what he had done and how far he had gotten. Jesus reached down and he saved him. Because Peter had again begged to be saved because he had run his mouth. Uh, Peter, so Jesus put his hand down. And we all know that Jesus, the scripture says Jesus was God in the flesh. Did not say that he was made out of rubber. Did not say he was made out of tire. Therefore, he didn't throw his arm out to the middle of the ocean like a fishing rod. But, G, but Peter was almost to the edge of the ocean for, for Jesus to be able to put his hand down and to catch him. It did not say that he was too far out. It didn't say Jesus had to suit up so he could swim to go get him. He said all he did was put his hand down and he brought him up problem with the church folk is we, the scripture says here in the fourth watch of the night fourth watch of the night simply means four o'clock we all know midnight is the darkest hour huh midnight is when you're really going through this storm and these winds have begun to blow after the darkest hour therefore the sun was about to come up but then peter began to walk and started getting scared right before it was time for him to get to the edge of the ocean what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say don't even look back at how far you've come right now. Because your day for victory is almost here. The scripture said, but let us not be weary. Peter won't do nothing wrong. He was just obeying the word of the Lord. So what am I saying? I'm saying be obedient. Get up out the boat. Get on the water and start walking. Don't start getting weary now because it's almost your time. 
What am I saying? I'm saying that it's not time right now to get scared. It ain't time to even start bending and crying. But this is the season. Yes, this is the last day. And folk are dying that ain't never died before. But what's happening now, God is about to turn everything that the unjust has had. And he's about to put it in my hand. I'm telling you and I'm speaking prophetically over this house. That everything that the unjust has had and we've seen them acquire. God is about to turn over riches into the hands of the church. But he wants some folk that he know can trust and make it over the water. He wants some folk that he know that ain't going to turn around and look back. The Lord said you've been going through for a long time already. So don't get weary now because it's almost your due date. I know those bracks and hit pains are getting rough. I know all those little contractions are starting to hurt you now. But the Lord is about to birth something out of you. Baby, that you won't even believe. And he said, after I have come forth and been through the fire, I shall come forth as pure gold. So don't worry about the fire you're going through. Don't even worry about the fiery dark that's coming your way. Your golden day is coming. You're about to live life like it's golden. And ain't even going to need to remember what you've been through. You're about to live life victorious. And ain't going to even need to remember the hell you saw back there. For weeping has endured for a night, and joy has already passed. It's four o'clock now. Step out on the water and begin to walk. Begin believing God for what He said He's going to do. Believe, trust in God. He said they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. He said they shall mount up with wings as eagles. He said they'll run and not get weary. He said they'll walk. And I can't. I said, wait on the Lord. Be a good courage. He's going to shift in your heart. Don't cry. Don't even get him. Don't bow. He's a just my drink. Believe on him. Trust in him. It's almost your due date. You won't even need your education. You won't even need your diplomas. You won't even need your degrees. Money coming. And when it coming to come in the land belongs to you. Every house breaks, he's about to bring it down. Every low breaks, he's about to bring it up. Walk into your inheritance. Believe in your inheritance. It's your due date. Give birth and believe. Trust on him. And see don't he work it out. Trust on him. And see don't he move your enemies out the way. Trust on him. See don't he knock that devil in his head. It's yours. And you don't even have to ask. If he owns, it already got your name on it. If he owns, you don't need no credit. Don't 